Welcome back to Latin Nation. I'm your host, Humberto Guida. When Brooklyn-based filmmaker Betty Bastidas returned home to Ecuador, she encountered a group of kids playing soccer in the streets. And she quickly realized the positive effects that soccer has in many poor households, especially in the Afro-Latino community. It took several years to complete her passion film, Dreamtown, which takes us on an exploration into the training, pressure, failures, and success of several Afro-Ecuadorian kids trying to make it as pro soccer players, not only to live their dream, but to help lift their families out of poverty. And we got more on the film right here on Latin Nation. My name is Betty Bastidas. I am an Ecuadorian American filmmaker. I was born in Ecuador and uh, my parents came to the United States when I was nine. For 10 years I was also undocumented and I think it was those experiences of feeling like I don't belong or like I'm second class citizen that got me to look at storytelling as a way to feel like I represent something. The stories that I'm attracted to are the ones that I can show characters or people going through extreme adversity but they're not being stopped by that. That's the case with Dreamtown. We have Aníbal Chalá, we have Carlos Maldonado and Ulises de la Cruz. They're examples of, first of all, underdogs, whose stories are important to tell because they are reflections of the people that we have in Ecuador and, and Afro-Latinos in general. So I tend to look for those narratives because they're a reflection of, of where I come from and the struggle that I had to go through to not give up and actually reach my goals. Para nosotros el éxito de llegar a la primera Copa del Mundo fue si nos sentimos que los del Chota ganamos más. Dreamtown is the story of a young Afro-Ecuadorian soccer player. His name is Aníbal Chala, and we follow him as he strives to pursue his dreams of making it out professionally. So we follow him from the age of 12 when he's playing in the minor league to 17 when he's able to secure a spot on the professional first division team and ends up becoming among the top 10 players of the country. With Carlos, Carlos is from directly from um, El Valle del Chota and I was kind of seeing like what kind of backstories do they have? Like what are they carrying with them? Like why are they playing soccer? Why are they so passionate about it at such a young age? And in him you just saw like this weight of the world in his shoulders. It was like a big responsibility that was a lot bigger than him. Mi sueño es que me compren a otros países y sacar de la pobreza a mi familia y salir adelante. Mi papi Tenía enfermedades en los pulmones. Teníamos que comprar una válvula. Costaba 20 mil dólares. Con la desesperación, 20 mil dólares. ¿Dónde iban a sacar? Through other characters, also I realized, you know, how this is like a machine. You know, these players end up becoming more like commodities being used for somebody's profit. And they're not seeing anything out of that. Llegar es fácil, pero mantenerse en el puesto es difícil. It doesn't only take talent to make it out. I mean, one in 300 players end up becoming a professional player. So the likelihood of you becoming, of anyone becoming a professional player is next to slim. That was one of the reasons why I felt the need to tell this story too. It's because for so many kids growing up in the Valley, the role models that they have are soccer players. And many times, a lot of the young kids end up quitting school and putting all their eggs in one basket and really going for soccer as like the way out. One of the th things that I want to leave with people is knowing that every kid, no matter where they come from, no matter what race they are, has the right to have a dream and to have his dream be realized. <laughs> 